Mason McIntyre goal by doing something remarkable here in Portugal. Portugal from left to right in the first half. It's a rare enough thing that they're actually playing here in Faro. It's their first match here since 2019, and the Portuguese... So one of these short goal kicks. Oh, Bazunu, oh, and Ireland very nearly in trouble. Is that a penalty? Is the referee? Yes, he's given a penalty. Ireland, well, only themselves to blame. Bruno Fernandes taken down. The ball should have been cleared. It was a routine that they've obviously worked on, but it needs more work, and the penalty has been given. And is this the moment for Ronaldo? He already has the ball tucked under his left arm, ready to take the penalty and to try and break the world record. No need whatsoever. No need. We talked about it before the game. They cannot do silly things. They've settled into the game. Just coming up to 10 minutes, everything seemed all right. Ronaldo's just threw a punch. Well, what happened there? One of the Irish players is down. This is the incident once more. Jeff Hendrick has been booked for that. Not the just... best replay to look well. You get the ball first? Anyway. Well, I think Ronaldo's just threw a punch at that. that They're was checking the penalty. VAR are checking whether or not it's a penalty. And what has happened with Ronaldo here? I'm sure it was that O'Shea kicked the ball off the spot. OK. And Ronaldo threw a punch at him. Was it was either Coleman he threw the punch at. So the referee having to sort things out. VAR, we're told, are still looking. They're checking the penalty. I haven't seen how one of the Irish players ended up on the ground. Here it is. O'Shea kicks it away, look. There was contact with his shoulder from Ronaldo, well, you, as you, you saw. Can't do that. So the referee is actually going to go and have a look at whether or not this was a penalty. On that first replay, Ronaldo's Slovenian referee. This is like the voting in the Eurovision. She's blown the whistle. He likes the drama. So it is a penalty. He has decided it's a penalty. Now will they have a look at Ronaldo's punch? Doesn't appear to be. So Gavin Bazuno, okay, he was involved in the, the mess up that led to the penalty. But can he stop Cristiano Ronaldo from breaking the world record? The 19 year old made his name at Shamrock Rovers, his debut at 16. Ronaldo made his Real Madrid debut at Shamrock Rovers. But the referee just reminding him about the rules from the penalty spot, any other player you'd say, oh, this delay might put him off. It doesn't necessarily apply to him. So, let's see. 15th minute in Faro. Portugal awarded the penalty. VAR's intervention, Ronaldo against Bazunu. Oh, and he saved it! What a save from Gavin Bazunu! He's a star already. He has denied Ronaldo from the penalty spot. He's denied him the world record, we have to say, for now. What a save it is. Gets down so quickly to his right, knocks it away, made up for the mistake. There's more shenanigans going on with the referee. I don't know what this referee is up to at the moment. Is he going to take it again? Are they he saying that... get the cross back in. But more encouraging signs for Ireland, but they've got to keep defending flawlessly, brilliantly, total concentration, can't afford any mistakes. They got away with the penalty. Oh, that's another incredible save from Bazunu. Absolutely incredible, it was Jota's header, but he's got it back again, the danger's still not clear. Right. The header on the far post. Have a look. And what a yeah, miss, post. what a miss by Jota, it's got to go back across the goalkeeper. 
Cancelo might still work out and does work out for Ireland. They got away with one there. Here's Doherty. Josh Cullen. Oh, and Connolly's got in around the back now. It's all about the cross and the shot from Connolly. He went for it himself. There were two to his right, three actually. He couldn't lift it over the goalkeeper. It's out for a corner. That was a huge chance. Great play again. Great ball by Cullen over the top. And it was a magnificent chance, and you won't get them too often. What a ball outside of his right foot from Cullen. Connolly's through. He's let the ball go too far ahead of him. A bit of a collision. So, Jamie McGrath with the corner, heading to half time. And far out, there's the goal! The Republic of Ireland leads! Portugal and it's John Egan what a goal and he celebrates in front of the handful of Irish supporters who are here in Faro as the ground goes silent the Republic of Ireland lead there'll be five added minutes what's on here for Stephen Kenny's Ireland what a ball in and what a header Egan steals the march on the Portuguese defenders Ruben Diaz Pepe don't go with him but what a header when he gets there it's clipped in, he gets across everyone, flicks it in the far corner, what a brilliant header. What a turn up for the books this is. Brilliant header. Rue Patricio getting nowhere near it. The ninth goal of Stephen Kenny's reign as Republic of Ireland manager, and a really special one from John Egan. Today he was named as the FAI Senior International Player of the Year, and there's a glimpse of why he's won that award. Ronaldo cuts a frustrated figure at the moment. Stephen Kenny is showing very little emotion. There's been so Couldn't see either. He couldn't get his head up. Diogo Jota. Jota shot. And Bazzini spilled it, but he kept it out. Wow. He kept it out. There's that post again. That post has been his friend in the first half. Everything's happening now in this game. Jota with the shot. Bazzini. Just gets away, doesn't he, Jota? Hits it, goes through his legs. He gets it just before it hits the post. Did it take a little nick off Duffy on the way through? It doesn't matter anyway. It doesn't Didn't matter go in. And then the other doesn't go out for the corner. He's still at it, Ronaldo. Bernardo Silva's taken up a position. You'll see him outside the penalty area. Fernandez! Oh. Was it this? Ronaldo, I wonder, yeah, he's going to have a go, blocked by Josh Cullen, brilliant, who just brilliant. reacted as well, Ronaldo seemed to kick his leg out towards the Irish player, Connolly and Ida working together, Pepe chasing him down, but Adam Ida keeps it in play, two waiting in the centre, there's the cross, look at where John Egan is, and Connolly, oh, is that a penalty though, he ended up on the ground again, there was a heavy, cha there was a heavy challenge in there, what now was John Egan doing in the box? Well, why not, sure. Uh, <laughs> He's come right in the back. Yeah. Does he get pushed over? He's barged over. Now, VAR are having a look at it. There is a potential penalty He's check on this. over from behind. Yeah, now, Connolly has moved on, so we're checking for a potential penalty, a foul here for that. Coleman stands in front of him again. Ronaldo's cross. Oh, and it's gone through. There's a chance, oh, what a miss, Bernardo Silva, that was the moment, they will get more, there could be a few more, but what a chance this was from Bernardo Silva, they got in behind. Yeah, there's four Irish players on the knees, Doherty for the first time in the game makes a silly mistake, what a miss, what a miss that is, what a let off, the bodies were all over the place, the Joe Irish players. Moutinho. Again, they load the penalty area and Cullen keeps them out again. Bernardo Silva. Guedes. And McLean there. Nice little cross. Ronaldo. Oh, he's done it. He has finally done it. And he's broken Irish hearts in Faro. He feels it isn't over yet. But there is the world record for Cristiano Ronaldo. It only takes a second to score a goal. Ireland had eaten into all those seconds, but now it's 1-1 in Faro. And you don't need reminding who's just scored with a minute to go. Stephen Kenny is going absolutely berserk in the, by the dugout. He was trying to get two subs on and they wouldn't get them on. And this has all come from this. They needed men on. 
It's not the greatest of defender from James McLean. Wade is the good ball in, but Ronaldo gets there. But they were trying to make the substitutions and the, the, the official... International football beating Ali Dye's record. But now here's McLean. Is there a twist in this story yet? McLean for Ireland! Side netting! Oh, oh, oh. Patricio pulled off a really good save. That was some strike from McLean. It's a bad touch he takes. Silva, but still we play on in Faro. Jao Mario and Jeff Hendrick there. They can't get it out of play. Silva there, Ronaldo again! Oh! He is incredible. But 30 seconds, 25 seconds over the five minutes. The referee let the attack continue. And that is heartbreak for Ireland in Faro after one of the bravest of performances you will ever see from this young team. A flurry of goals from Ronaldo, as they did against Luxembourg, as they did against Hungary in the European Champions. But Ireland absolutely heartbroken here in Faro. Ronaldo, and there's the most relieved man in the house. Just not fair. And yes, they attacked for most of the game. Portugal, Irish players have given everything they had in this game. They are so unfortunate. Not to come away with at least a point. But that man, Ronaldo, yet again. It's another great header from him as well. But to go so deep into the game, Ireland, and not come away with a point. Well, I think the referee has the yellow card in his hand. I was wondering, would he book him? Because it has not been a great night for the Slovenian referee. Ronaldo will miss the next match, but he won't care a jot about that this evening. This is the goal again. He's in an offside position there. Gets himself back on side. He just gets in front of Seamus Coleman and gets the power in the header. It's just him, isn't it? That's what has made him the player he is. But from an Irish perspective, here this evening after a heroic performance, that is gutting. And there, finally, we have the full-time whistle. There's a number of Irish players there with their head in their hands because they could not give any more out there this evening. Stephen Kenny, well, his team, it's their best performance. There's absolutely no question about it in his 14 games in charge. But the Portuguese director will focus a lot on that man and Ronaldo because of what happened this evening for so long. It looked like it was going to be a frustrating night for him because Ireland, with their craft and their guile, their cleverness, their discipline, their concentration had frustrated them all and deserved something out of this game.